and we're live. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of One Stop Live. I'm Didi from One Stop Warehouse. I'm here with Tim from One Stop Warehouse in Sydney. Hi, Tim. How are you today? Hi, Didi. How are you going? Good, good. We have had some busy times, and so we're going to get straight into it today. So we're um, really excited to talk to Richard Chen today from Longy. Um, we had the yes, pleasure, we had the of, pleasure learning of learning all uh, about his products. Yeah, we 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 were really pleased to have him on board um, this morning. Uh, we have recorded the interview because um, Richard is right now in our uh, office in Sydney with his team to meet our new tech engineer. So let's learn a little bit about Richard. Richard holds a Master of Voltaic and Renewable Energy from the Uni of New South Wales and has more than eight years of experience in the solar industry. Prior to joining Longy, he worked at Tuve Rhineland where he was in charge of the solar module certification and testing and he now supports Australian customers with his responsibility for all technical matters on Longy's products. So we'll just run his interview. Hi, Richard. Hi, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Hi, Jim. Richard. Hi, Didi. How are you? Thank you. Thank good, you for good. having me today. Pleasure, Pleasure to have you here. So, Richard, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and about Longy Solar? Uh, we know Longy is an established brand. Uh, what makes it so popular? Sure, sure. Um, Longji was established in 2000, and uh, we've been focusing on normal crystal silicon technology since day one. Uh, in 2015, Longji started its module business and soon entered Australia market later. Uh, and it's, it's fortunate for us to have partners like uh, One Stop Warehouse, who, uh, helps, uh, who, who has helped us to build our brand and reputation. But we found it really uh, critical to have a local presence, like what we've had in Europe and the US. So last year, our North Sydney office was officially open. Uh, now we've got roughly um, 13 fully functioning team members from sales, logistics, marketing, finance, etc. And myself is uh, one of the two engineers here, uh, mainly responsible for pre-sale or after-sale technical support. Um, so we know that good service is success in this market and we'll continue to do that and uh, we'll continue to improve. So Richard, um, what are the main products in Australia available right now and what are the hot products that everyone should be getting their hands on? Well, the first one I like to highlight is the uh, HIMO X350 module. Uh, we launched this one last year and it instantly became a sought after product. Um, it's, it's built on the shingle cell technology and innovative circuitry design, which leads to a very unique and aesthetic appearance. You won't find anything like it on the market. And it comes with a black frame, a long leads, 20% efficiency, and you only need 19 of them to have a 6.65 kilowatt system. And the next one is the HIMO 4 370 watt half cell module. We brought this one uh, into Australia in April, uh, which makes us probably the first supplier to offer product like uh, of its kind. Uh, it almost come. Uh, it, it also comes with a uh, black frame, long cable length, improved temperature coefficient and an efficiency of 20.3%. Uh, I'd also like to highlight our gallium dog wafer technology, uh, which fundamentally removes the boron oxygen complex in the cell and minimizes uh, LID and LETID. 
Uh, that's why we offer a high performance guarantee and uh, the uh, industry leading low degradation. Awesome. Uh, Richard, can you tell us a little bit more about the new HIMO 5? Oh yeah, sure. Um, yes, we are very excited to finally launch this product uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, it can reach up to 540 watt, uh, which is based on not only larger cell, but also high efficiency. Uh, one of the key feature is the smart soldering technology, uh, which maximizes light capturing and also minimizes cell gaps while maintaining a very high uh, level of reliability. Um, both 72 cell and 66 cell format will be available, although it's designed for ultra large scale solar farm, but uh, we also expect to see it soon on CNI rooftop projects in Australia, especially for the 66 cell model with power output up to 490 watt. Sounds great, Richard. Um, what is the capacity of Longi and sort of where is it all coming from? Um, firstly, uh, Longi has been committed to driving down the cost of solar um, so that it is able to compete with other sources of energy in large scale application, for example. But we also hope that our product can be affordable so that it can reach um, as many households and communities as possible. So there are a couple of ways to achieve that. Um, one is to continuously improve the efficiency of cell and module. And you see we are investing uh, uh, five of revenue to RMD and our module efficiency is increasing at a rate of 0.5% every year. Uh, secondly, We've also looked at reducing installation cost and balance of system cost by increasing the size of module and its output. And of course, uh, of course, another way is to expand the production capacity. Currently, we've got a 20 gigawatt module capacity in, in operation, mainly from our manufacturing facilities in uh, central and eastern China. Uh, we've recently acquired Abina Solar, which is a uh, sophisticated module manufacturer located in Vietnam. So that's another seven gigawatt adding to the book. So by the end of this year, we expect to have roughly 30 gigawatt of module capacity and even more uh, is coming uh, for 2021. So, um Richard, uh, before we let you go, do you want to share anything else with um, our installers? Sure. Um, I think first and foremost, uh, I would strongly recommend to follow the installation standard and guidelines, as well as Longi's installation manual. Um, please pay attention to things like clamping zones and avoiding long-term shading, etc. Uh, secondly, due to the larger cell size or parallel circuitry design, uh, the panel's working current might be higher, uh, so be careful when choosing the, the inverters. Um, maybe have a chat with the One Stop Warehouse staff and I believe they will be able to find the right product for you. Uh, also, please use Solar Panel Validation Program, SPV, to claim your STC. Um, it's not, it not only puts your application into fast track, but also ensures that you purchase the genuine product from authorized channel. And of course, you won't uh, you also won't find any trouble when lodging a uh, warranty case, for example, with a uh, verified product. And uh, last but not least, if you have any question, whether on your design with our panel or uh, installing on the roof, uh, just simply give us a call or send us an email. Uh, we will well, uh, help, help you out. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. And of course, if you need a good, reliable platform to trade those STCs, contact Green Deal at www.greendeal.com.au because they're a great and awesome price. They give you great and awesome prices. Uh, Richard, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Didi. Thank you for having me. And of course, I'll just put up the super again of where you can get in contact with you guys. So that is... Sure. Info at longisolar.com.cu.
Great. Right. Richard. We're back in here. We there are. was Richard. So next topic. <laughs> come back. Next topic of the day is product announcement. So it's time to update the product range. This, mo this month we have a brand new product portfolio that we would like to talk to you about. So let me introduce you to the new Huawei 5 kilowatt um, single phase and the new Huawei 100 kilowatt inverter. So both we certify DC isolator in build and product warranty. The 500 kilowatt, the 500, the 5 kilowatt inverter is compatible with both LG Chem high voltage battery and Huawei battery, which is estimated to be released around September 2020. We also have a new SunGrow premium version of single phase inverters, the SG5KD premium and the SG8KD premium. We still have the old version in stock with the 5 plus 5 year warranty. The SunGrow hybrid inverters with the SH5K20 have been upgraded to the SH5K30. Awesome. And we are also introduced the new Goodwin inverter ranges with DC isolating built and Sunman E-Arch semi-flexible panels. The models available for Goodwin are the DNS, MS, S, M, T, and E, H. So they're all available right now. Um, please consult your account manager for pricing or other information. And it's great to see that flexible panel. Sure. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. Didi, Didi, we've got some more announcements. Um, one stop solar sessions. Um, it's a series of four virtual trainings sessions starting in August. Due to COVID-19, we're not organising face-to-face sessions, but the good news is you can still earn your CPD points. So let me just show you. Um, you can earn those points doing virtual training. So they'll be starting in August. Make sure you kind of pencil in that in your mind or in your diary to think about earning your CPD points over the month of August with One Stop Warehouse. In the comfort of your home or your office. And we also have Ryzen video competition announcement. So from today, you can win up to $500 in credit with One Stop Warehouse, thanks to our partner, Ryzen Energy Australia. So we are looking for the best Ryzen commercial and industrial projects across Australia. As I said, you can win up to $500 in credit and more importantly, a chance to feature to one stop warehouse Facebook live show, which is this one, and Ryzen corporate video. Now, it only takes three easy steps for you to participate. Post a one minute video showcasing your amazing Ryzen installation on your social media account on your account. Include some project information like the city, the year of installation, some project size and Ryzen product series um, that you might have used on that project. Um, three, include hashtag <laughs> Ryzen commercial installation or hashtag Ryzen industrial inst installation and tag at Ryzen Energy Australia and at One Stop Warehouse in your submission. Um, you should probably also just mention on the post that of this competition that you've made a submission. That way we'll hunt you down and make sure that uh, you're in the running. Yeah, or you can also email, email us or message us on Facebook. We will look for all these things. Um, so we're seeking for three best video only and we'll pick one winner at the end of each month. So the campaign ends on the 30th of September uh, and the terms and condition are on our website. So good luck. Good luck. Um, Didi, we have jobs and we have jobs with One Stop Warehouse and Discover Energy. Do you want to just share us what those jobs are? Of course. So at One Stop Warehouse, we are looking for an accounts assistant in our Queensland office. Uh, we're also looking for our warehouse operators in our 
communities, uh, Discover Energy. Our friends at Discover Energy are looking for a marketing specialist in their North Sydney office and a junior business development manager in their Sydney office. So as always, if you're interested in this position, you can apply on seek.com.au. You can have a look on our social media platforms. We always share some information there. Or you can simply send your resume at, um, to HR at one stop where are you. Fantastic, Didi. And I look forward to working with you if you get the job. So make sure you apply. Um, Didi, we're up to news. Now, the first news is a little bit complicated, but it's a great way for you to get involved in setting the standard for grid connection of energy systems via inverters. So I'm just going to play a little video. Um, the ASNZS 4777.2 draft of the public comment for, is open for public comment. Um, by the Standards Australia. So now's the time for you to put in your call for an opinion. The draft version has been developed in an effort to maintain system security for customers by supporting bulk system needs during disturbances, increasing the DER hosting capacity and improving the certainty of inverter responses. As such, the draft includes a number of changes to the disturbance ride through and grid support functionality among other updates so the draft standard can be downloaded free of charge at standards australia website you will have to register your name um, and public comment is open until the 10th of september 20, 2020 so if you're involved in the inverter industry or you want to make your opinion known make sure you head over to that website Thank you, Tim. And now a taste of the future of solar through McDonald's. They remodel um, their office, as you can see, it's covered up solar panel. So um, a remodel McDonald's aiming to generate all of its own energy on site is now serving burgers and fries through a drive through and delivery near Disney World in Florida. It now features solar panels for parking lots lights, as well as more than 1,060 panels on its roof. It has a number of other renewable energy features, such as a stationary bikes for customers that create energy to light the restaurant chain, chain's iconic golden arch and passive ventilation that circulates air. What a great idea. <laughs> it's kind of funny, you get to eat the burger, you get to pedal on a bicycle that burns away the calories and generates electricity. So that sounds like an innovation for McDonald's. And certainly I think it will be an important change to see if McDonald's embraces this across all the chain, across all the world, because that will make significant changes. It's a lot of McDonald's. Consumption. It's a lot of McDonald's and a lot of, <laughs> it's a lot of being McDonald's. used. Next topic. Next topic is solar renewable events and the Clean Energy Council is opening themselves up for nominations. So let's look at that. Um, for the 2020 Solar Design and Installation Awards, applications for the 2020 Solar Design and Awards are open and this is Australia's premier event. If you have been involved in solar design or installation of an outstanding solar project in the past year, submit a nomination to get recognition and kudos for your product, project, project. The Solar Design and Installation Awards recognise solar installations of all types and sizes, so visit our website to find out more to submit your nomination. And today there is also another event. InterSolar Innovation Day is on today. So it starts at 4 p.m. Sydney time till late at night. It goes until tomorrow. So plenty of time for you guys to check them out. For those who don't know, InterSolar Innovation Day is an online event 
for all in, in innovation and solar enthusiasts. The two-day event will present the latest innovations of the global solar industry, covering various topics in the field of solar cell module inverter mounting and tracking systems, as well as solar power plants and solution for the integration of renewable energy. More than 30 companies will be presented, so um, check them out. Fantastic, Didi. And that looks like an exciting thing if you really are interested in seeing what the innovation is, what's over the horizon. We have come to the end of our show. So we'd like to thank Richard Chen for, from Longy Solar for joining our show today, for giving us that great information on their product. And we'd like to thank you who have been watching today. Thank you for being a part of this every week. Um, we're going to finish with a video from Longy, which shows um, their process and their manufacturing. It only goes for a few minutes, so it's quite fascinating. So please hang along. And Thanks, everyone, video. for watching One Stop Live, and see you next week with episode 10. Thank you.